This case is not over. We will not rest on the tr until the truth is revealed. And to that end, we are making a couple of demands of the DA's office and the Albany Police Department. The first one is that, uh, as you know, several weeks ago, Mr. Soares uh, promised to discuss this case at a community forum. And we will hold him to that promise. The other thing is the Albany Police Department must be held accountable. Early on, the department issued, as you know, an oral report of its investigation without explaining the conflict between its final report and a department arrest report that justified the shooting of Mr. Williams by claiming that he was running towards Detective Olson with a knife. The community is demanding an explanation and more transparency on the department's investigation and handling of the case. We are, at this time, demanding a written investigation report of the incident. We cannot live with that oral report. Unfortunately, the handling of the shooting of Mr. Williams has weakened the relationship between the community and its district attorney and the Albany Police Department. And in order to restore the what we thought was an encouraging level of trust we enjoyed prior to this incident and, um, and work in collaboration to promote the public safety, we must have the truth. And those who head these offices must allow that truth to be told. A lie cannot live forever. Elazar and his family are so grateful for the support and help that they have received from community residents. And due to this injustice, they still have great financial, medical, food, and living supply needs. He has been victimized, and we as a community must continue to help. Contributions can be made to the Elazar Williams Donation Fund at CEPQ and through payroll. PayPal, excuse me. Elazar wanted very much to be here, but last night he started experiencing uh, great pain, and he's still struggling to becoming more mobile. But we will see him shortly in the community uh, at one of the functions that we're going to have in February. Uh, I am joined by um, Katia West, who is his caregiver. And I don't know if you want to say anything. It's up to you.